waterfowl have been hunted by man since the beginning of time. Its timeless traditions and rich heritage have been handed down by different cultures for centuries. Those who have been chosen to become waterfowl hunters are a unique breed of individual. They will lose days, weeks, months of rest to chase their game. They will hunt in the harshest weather, in the toughest conditions. They will risk injury, even death, to fuel that passion that burns inside each and every one of them. They plan and prepare themselves throughout the year for that next hunt. Those who don't call themselves waterfowlers don't understand. They can't comprehend the passion, desire, that pulls us out of that warm home, that warm bed, out of those loving arms, climbing into a cold tomb, laying on frozen earth, on wet ground, for that one opportunity. And when that one opportunity arises, and with that one pull of the trigger, all the cold, the suffering, the exhaustion goes away. Ask any true waterfowler and they will tell you, waterfowl hunting isn't a fad, it's not a trend, it's a way of life. This show is about those men and women who call themselves waterfowlers. It's about our traditions, our beliefs, desires, our love of our sport. We call it the grind. Brought to you by Dakota Decoy, Righam Wright Waterfowl, Nordic Components, Edge Innovative Hunting, Mr. Heater and Spyware Optics. Four years old. I was 14 years old. I mean, there was just ducks everywhere. I mean, ducks just pouring in out of the sky. It was pretty amazing. Um, and right then is when I got hooked. Um, I think I was right around 12 years old. I got started in waterfowl hunting probably when I was about four or five years old. My dad took me out to his blind big water hunting out on some big water for divers. And I've pretty much been hooked ever since. Hey, buddy. That was pretty when that one came right up on top. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> really didn't have much of a choice to get into waterfowl hunting just because my father was so passionate about it and I just kind of just followed in his footsteps from the time I was four years old, I remember being in a blind, waiting over the little boots I was wearing. My mom actually sitting in a blind with us, warming my feet up under her coat because I was soaking wet. And I just loved it from that moment on. From the time I was in the seventh grade, 
I um, work for a dog trainer and um, just throwing dummies and shoveling you know what and feeding dogs and um, so I really got into it through that. My whole life, it's been something that I was raised doing. My dad did it. My grandfather did it. His grandfather did it. Um, it's just, it's just part of what I know and what I've done throughout my entire life. Uh, waterfowl hunting. I started at an early age. Uh, I believe my first duck I killed was 12 years old, and I've just haven't looked back since. I mean, my dad obviously is a hunter. I would go out with him when I was younger. Uh, my first hunt was with him when I was seven. We didn't get anything, it was freezing. But after that, you just get hooked. Hanging out with him, hunting just I think runs so deep in my bones and my, through my veins because it's in my family that I think my sister's gonna be involved in it. Let me see if there's a band He did a triple flip, Maddie. You see the, here. and Mally got him. Look at that, isn't that cool, Maddie? Uh-huh. Here. She got it by its butt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, He's eating duck butt. No, you can tell. Huh. The art of waterfowl hunting has been around since the creation of man. Paintings of ducks and geese have been found in European caves from the last ice age. Murals and drawings have been found in ancient Egypt and in both North and South America. The Extreme Series decoys from Dakota Decoy are the most realistic, dependable decoys on the market. From our mallards to our honkers, these decoys will give you years of trouble-free gunning. We pride ourselves in excellence to bring you the most durable decoys available. Once you make the switch to Dakotas, you'll never look back. Dakota Decoy. The migration stops here. Uh, hands down, my favorite waterfowl to hunt is the mallard duck. Um, the mallard is just the iconic species for the whole sport. I mean, every, you know, most people identify duck hunting with the mallard duck, um, and everything else kind of falls in line as far as, you know, my opinion. Love shooting Canada geese, love shooting snow geese, love shooting pintail, widgeon, till, everything. But to me, nothing compares to shooting big old greenheads. I mean, hands down, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. Um, I love to hunt Canada's, big giant Canada's at home. Canada geese. That's the ultimate bird for me. Um, just, uh, I love the way they work. Uh, work your spread, work your calling. I love scouting them. I just love everything about them. Um, it's, just a, it's just a great bird.
favorite type of waterfowl to hunt is whatever's in front of me. I mean, I want to shoot ducks, geese, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm from Michigan and probably what we've got the best of right now is goose hunting. But, you know, in a few years, maybe it's the mallards again. I, I'm just so addicted to waterfowl hunting in general that I don't have a preference. Anything with their feet down in front of me is what I want to hunt. Nice shot, dude. I like how uh, ducks come in. I like that you have to kind of call them in and they can turn at any moment. Um, I love the sound their wings make. That's weird, but <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Kill him. You know, I, I love hunting all sorts of waterfowl, everything from divers to puddlers to geese. In fact, I really got into hunting lessers. Uh, if I guided for so long that um, I didn't get to, to duck hunt as much as I'd like to. And now that I'm done with that and I'm working on, on television and hunting all throughout the country, I've really gotten into mallard hunting. I, I just, there's something about it. It's, it's the first thing I, I learned to hunt, first thing I, first thing I shot, and, and mallards, a mallard drake a glowing in the sunlight, there's, there's nothing really that can compare to that. He was on my Back. side. He was on your side. I didn't want to be We're watching that greedy. flying one. I didn't want to be greedy. <laughs> but he had to talk. I mean, he was just like... He was in. He was in as in could be. <laughs> The Migratory Bird Hunting Stamp Act, which went into effect on July 1, 1934, authorized the annual issuance of what is popularly known as the Duck Stamp. In 1976, Congress changed the official name to the Migratory Bird Hunting and Conservation Stamp. The funds from their sales have raised more than $700 million, which has been used to conserve more than 5.2 million acres of migratory bird habitat across the U.S. Pellets in that load. No, look like I'd take some out. Oh, yeah. you <laughs> they get you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I load my own. Yeah. <laughs> Northeast Arkansas, I'd say, would be my number one place that I enjoy to hunt the most. Reason being, my family was born and raised there. From my great grandparents going down there as a little kid the flooded timber, the rice fields. It's just a waterfowl area that everyone down there you see is involved in it. I'd have to go with Ontario, Canada, just because I've always I've gone there for so many years. I, I truly enjoy 
crossing the bridge into Canada. Um, I've got such a great relationship with, with a lot of the people I hunt with over there, and it's, I'd have to say Ontario for sure. That did not suck. That did. What you doing? They're working their way out. Yeah. Swing right, right here. Around. There's some dip. Get low. They come around the edge. That coming around and swing right in. Let's get them up quick. I love Canada. Big numbers. Um, all the species. It's just way cool hunting in Canada. But I mean, hunting in timber, hunting mallards in timber. I mean, it's golly, it's hard to compare anything to that. What's that? Didn't two land right in front of Cody? That single. Oh. Another way? No, a single coming in from the left. The same one. That's a gray light. It's a gray light. I told you it was something weird, like a brand. I saw the head was funny. Shot. Nice shot, Steve. Smells like fireworks. <laughs> that would be the gunpowder, babe. <laughs> it is fireworks. You know, I've hunted all over the United States and Canada, and I have to say that my favorite place is going to be Washington, my home state. Um, because of the diversity of waterfowl, I mean, you got your divers, you got your puddlers, you got your big geese, little geese, you got snow geese, you got any kind of waterfowl you want, you got seasons that last forever, and um, the bag limits, they're very liberal, so um, the opportunities are endless here in the state. I love it. Nice shot, girl. You didn't hesitate that time. <laughs> nice calling, Steve. Once again. Yeah, we just can't seem to get a bunch no. of them together. Yeah. You know, one. Yeah. You get these singles that come in. Here. A study commissioned by the International Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services reports that waterfowl as a resource of the United States has generated nearly $20 billion in economic revenue, currently generating more than $1 billion a year in state and federal tax revenues along with creating over a quarter of a million jobs in the United States. Nice. <laughs> that was better. That was nice. That was nice. Little carnage. <laughs> We're liking that carnage. <laughs> That's what they have to. Now you see what I like. Yeah. 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 Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> Did I have to no, shoot twice? Well, it was a warning shot, you know? You gotta hey, kind of stall <laughs> That's a drake. Is that a hen? No, it's a hen. We don't want to eat. If you want to kill it, go ahead. It's free. If you want to kill it, kill it. We're okay. We got this. Another one. Nice shot. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Way to get on it. Duck hunting woman. I love it. <laughs> hey, you killed one for a shot. I know, I'm glad, but my thing <laughs> keeps sticking. It doesn't oh. let me shoot the second one. Poison. Probably needs a little bit of blue. Love. It, I mean, it, it reloaded now, but it wouldn't reload. Just uncheck. Do that. You go get the piece. Do it to... Yeah, take the shell out and just spray a little bit of that and work it back. Darn it. You killed two. Killed two. <laughs> <laughs>